we see what 223 does. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Zedra. In today's video, we are going to be testing the durability of some new plates we got in. Uh, the calibers we're gonna be using today is a 5.7, 50 AE, and 223. So I'm really excited to try these out. And what makes these plates more unique than anything else that we have used or shot before is they have a curve for the female anatomy. Oh yeah, that's right. Nice. <laughs> So most standard plates are made for the male anatomy. They're a lot longer, wider, heavier, and they're flat. So as a woman, someone who shoots in that kind of plate, it's not really comfortable for me. Let's just say we'll use the back side of this. It presses into your chest as a woman. Our anatomy ends up being into our armpits. It's too wide, it's too long. It's not comfortable for us to train in. So RMA Armament has developed a female anatomy plate. It's shorter for smaller torsos and a little bit smaller because our chests aren't as wide as males and it has a little curve to it so it's more comfortable for our chest area. So even for you larger dudes out there who have daddy fun bags, this is even built for you. Yes, 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 yes. In order to really test this out, I'm gonna put this into the plate carrier um, just to see how comfortable it is to shoot. And I could already tell with the, it's not as wide that it's a lot more comfortable already. Nice and high. All right, so the first plate we're gonna be shooting at is the level 3A. This protects against your average uh, rifle calibers such as 5.56 five, and 7.62 and it's really comfortable and light. It's only two and a half pounds. I've been wearing it for a little bit now and it feels great for me. I've had two surgeries on my shoulders, so it being really light is really important to me. And let's shoot it. Let's go! All right, we're gonna be shooting at the level three plate with an FN57, one of my favorites. Also very expensive to shoot. All right, let's take a look at it. What do we got here? I feel like a tiny little hole was in there. And we got a little dent from the impact, but they state that you can shoot at this multiple times. Feels like it's holding up pretty well so far. Shall we see what 223 does? Shall we? All right, next we're gonna be shooting at the level three plate with the Mark 12. This is chambered in 223. That's all right, as long as we hit it. Okay, clear, go down range. All right, let's check her out here. Got a tiny little hole in the entrance and whoo, this thing is hot. Feels a little warm, uh, didn't go all the way through. Definitely caught it in there, but you can see there's a little bit more damage on this end than there was with the 5.7. I mean, the 5.7 just feels like a little freaking pimple right here. You can barely see it at all, but definitely 2.2.3 did some freaking gnarly damage back here. Still good though. It's actually really impressive for a plate that only weighs two and a half pounds. All right, next we're gonna shoot a plate with this. It's a 50 AE. We're gonna be shooting that with this, the Desert Eagle. I've actually never shot at any plates with the Desert Eagle with 50 AE. So I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'm really excited. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get how gnarly this thing is. Shoo! It also doesn't help that I was moving furniture a lot yesterday, so my grip and my forearms are like toast. All right, so I totally suck aiming with the 50 AE. We hit the corner here, but I feel like hitting the corner of, holy, wait, did it catch this shit? Ooh, it's spicy. No, it didn't. But we were right here on the corner and I think what happened, it came in and out through here near the edge. Didn't catch it at all, but that also was not expected. Ow, there's a piece of shrapnel all back here that just stabbed me in the hand. I can get that out of there. Right here. Ooh, dang, it is really in there. Ooh, screwed up my fingernail. There's more shrapnel pieces throughout here. Holy crap. Even left a little gnarly dent there on our steel plate that uses our back. I tell you what, I would hate to get shot by one of those things. I definitely suck at being accurate with one though, that's for sure. 
You can definitely see part of the round, some shrapnel 50 AE, that it definitely caught. So it definitely caught, holy shit, it caught it. No freaking way. You get cheap um, product, especially like from China or cheap plates. They don't protect all the way to the edge. Usually you just put some foam or something really cheap around the edge to fill it out. But this protected all the way to the edge. Huge shout out to G Fuel for sponsoring today's video. They just launched the Energy Plus Protein. I go to the gym a lot. I always, I'm really bad at getting my protein intake in enough. I usually need about 120 grams a day. That's really hard for me as a woman. So 15 grams of protein with 140 milligrams of caffeine so I can have my energy drink and my protein all in the same. And I'm always drinking energy drinks when I'm on the range. So now I could get my protein in. I had one earlier, but I'm gonna have another one because I'm at the range, but kind of want it concentrated. So that way I just chug this thing. Make sure to click on the link below and use code ZEDRA at checkout to save 10% off G Fuel. Next plate we're going to be shooting is the level four plate. This weighs about seven pounds. And I want to add that these are all made in the United States. Woo, America. Oh, can't say the F word. Heck yeah. Anyway, uh, the level four plates will protect against your armor piercing rounds up to 30 at six, but we're gonna be shooting five, seven, 50 AE and two, two, three again. But I think I might hit it with a few times with two, two, three. Since this has a performance for multi hit, so we might get it a few taps, a few tappies. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna change up our five, seven rounds a little bit. At first we were running the 27 grain. Now we're gonna switch to 40 with the high velocity, little bit of blue tip in there. See what that does. All right, very first shots of the 40 grain, five, seven into the level four plate. got one two i think i clipped it dang i definitely chipped the side <laughs> what is wrong with me not that i did over here we got these two i absolutely suck with the five seven in case you haven't noticed but based on the other side i mean there's no lump or bump or anything it just straight up caught it with um a little bit of crumbling in the front doesn't look like it was impacted that bad at all from the other side held up pretty nice except for this little nick that i got that guy we don't worry about that guy <laughs> all right we're gonna shoot this level four plate with two two three just a few times with the mark 12. that didn't feel right there we go all right i'm gonna pick this up all right ready I see ceramic all over the ground. I think one bounced back and hit me on top of the head. <laughs> two, two, three, baby. It's a little bit, like a little teeny bit of a bump back here, but not bad at all. So I'm gonna shoot a couple more times in the middle just to see if we can get it uh, to break. It says you can hit it, it says multi shot performance. So I'm gonna test that theory. Dang. I can't get it to sit right so I can hit it a few times. I should have thought of a better idea than just wrapping this around it. All right, so we added another strap around the top. Hopefully it'll hold it in place for these next two rounds. Nope, it's not. It was perfect. Shot number two. Ugh. All right, we got you know, a little bit more damage in the front, but I mean, still good to be shot at. I've been wearing this mask all day. Well, not all day, but throughout this entire video. And I know it's probably only 10 minutes right now, but usually I'm out here about an hour and a hour. I can't talk with these freaking things in my ears. I'm only out here for about an hour, hour and a half. And I just feel great. You know, I might be shooting like crap, but I'm comfortable and I always have shoulder pain. I have no pain at all, so. All right, there we go. Now that it stayed where it's supposed to, we got two more shots. We lit this thing up about four or five times. Let's see if we've made any impact on the other side. I think, oh man, I broke my nail. What did I do? I know some of y'all be like, eh, she broke her nail, but dude, like I may have the nastiest nails, but dude, this hurts. Look what I did. Now how am I gonna pick my nose? 
Well, at least we're near the end of the video. But this held up really good. We shot this thing a few times. It looks like one went through eventually after a few rounds. It still caught it, but I can't tell if it probably bounced off the seal back that we have back here. I don't know. I really want to take this apart, but it's kind of hot right now. Let's uh, stick it back to the table and rip it up. All right, let's cut this thing open and so we can get a better look. This is not the best knife. I bought this cute little cleaver and I got it for its cuteness, not for its, I don't know. There you have it, that's what it looks like. That shot's there, shot's there, shot's there, and then two here. Held up pretty good. Oh yeah, and one down there. We won't talk about that guy. And then we only came through on the other side right here. All right, so we definitely tore this plate up to pieces, but you know, we might as well finish it off at 50 AE. Might as well. Here we go. Oh, my hands. <laughs> Shoot day. Oh my. It doesn't look like it even went through the other side, even 50 AE after being shot up a bunch. So, say so this is pretty solid. Wait, and it's shaped just for me. <laughs> I actually found the uh, 50 AE round sitting on the ground. It's even got a little bit of <laughs> this with it. It took some of the orange fabric along with it. That's cool. Oh, beans! And that's a wrap for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Leave a comment below on what y'all thought of today's very scientific uh experiment ladies if you've thought about getting a plate carrier and you weren't really sure where to stand these were great i've been wearing it all day i'm very comfortable especially for those who have larger than average breastuses it's wonderful even if you are part of the itty bitty titty committee it's still shaped for you very comfortable and durable and guys if you thought about getting your girlfriend some something some something where am i going with this Is oh yeah dudes if you want to get your girlfriend something really cool for christmas or <laughs> Oh wait, Chris, this is really far away. You got Mother's Day. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry I suck at YouTube still. Anyway, really cool gift for your girlfriend's wives, mothers, grandmas. <laughs> that <a> grandma. <laughs> the coolest grandma ever. Anyway, super cool product. Y'all go check it out. I'm out of here. <laughs>